right, this is everything that was a uh, uh, war and uh, carry uh, that wasn't in my uh, my pack. I'll just go through that quick. Uh, there's uh, what are they Solomon boots, Solomon boots. I was um, contemplating either not wearing these and using my uh, trail running uh, shoes instead of these. And now I've finished the West Sun away, I kind of wished I had worn the trail runners because it was nice weather all the time and it would have been a lot more, um, your feet would have got a lot more a lot more breeze to them, a lot more, a lot more airy. Um, but anyway, they were still good boots, no, um, no blisters or anything like that. Uh, and of course these are waterproof, completely waterproof. If it had rained, I would have been fine in those. Uh, but anyway, that's what I wore. Socks, uh, Bridgedale socks. Now this is, I've, I've discovered why I think uh, I might have had a, a blister on the way, although I didn't get one. Um, it's because they're starting to, down here on the ball of the feet was where it was, they're starting to look a little bit threadbare. So uh, I think it's time I threw those away and got a new pair. Um, but I believe that that's probably why uh, why I had a little hot spot starting. Uh, Merino um, Montaigne, oh, what make are they? Montaigne uh, boxers, very good. Um, Whip the sweat away, no problem there. Um, Marmot uh, long sleeve um, base layer with a zip, a chest zip there. Uh, that was absolutely brilliant. Um, being because it was long sleeve, it meant I didn't have to worry about uh, sun cream all, all the time on my uh, my arms. Um, because I'm the sort of person that starts out <laughs> white, then goes pink, peels, and goes back to white again. I, I don't really tan much, so uh, I'm glad of the long sleeve. I think I probably always stick with long sleeve. Um, but yeah, that was absolutely ideal. Uh, didn't it, it didn't really smell much at all either. It, it wicks the sweat away. Doesn't really smell that much, um, and it dries quick as well. So uh, uh, Rab micro fleece, um, micro fleece. Uh, that was very good as well for the chillier mornings. Um, again, it's very good at wicking the sweat away. Uh, very, very light. Um, and because I'm quite a warm hiker, I don't really need a, a thick, thick fleece or anything like that. You know, like I said, if I was cold, I could have worn my uh, my raincoat or anything, something like that. Um, but no, that was very good as well. Trousers. Uh, these are. Uh, Montaigne, uh, I think they're called Terra Pants. I'm not quite sure what what what, what the model is, but these are the ones with the um, the vents on the sides. So if you if it is hot, you just open the vent on the side, uh, and that cools you down quite well. It's also got a a pocket sewn into a pocket. Which side is it? There it is. It's also got a pocket sewn into a pocket, which is what I put my um, my wallet in. Oh, that's a point. I didn't show you that. On the last one, where did I put it? Yeah, that's my wallet. That was the wallet I carried with me. It's just big enough, so you can put a couple of, I had a bank card and a credit card one side, and I had notes rolled up, or folded up on the other side. That's all you need. Um, there's no point taking your normal wallet with you, because your normal wallet, you've got store cards and loyalty cards and all sorts in there. Um, so I just had a normal bank card, a uh, credit card, and um, notes in there. And that goes nicely into, zips into that inner pocket. And then you tuck the inner pocket into the uh, the, uh, the normal pocket, and it's nice and secure. Uh, walking poles. I highly recommend walking poles. Uh, they're just black diamond. I uh, can't remember the model, but black diamond walking poles. Uh, very handy, especially going down, coming down off Connick Hill. Um, saved my knees because uh, that's the sort of place coming down there. It's a long, long, long way down to Balmaha. Um, and if it didn't have those, uh, I think my knees would be aching a little bit. So definitely recommend walking poles. Uh, also, I'll just watch, just a standard um, watch. This has got a, a thermometer and, and a, and a um, compass on it. Never used a thermometer. The compass is pretty good though. It's pretty quite accurate as well. Um, not that I needed it, but it's always nice to have it there. Uh, sunglasses, absolutely essential, because when I was going and I was doing my walk, it was very sunny or every day. Uh, that's what I wore. Right, I go to night clothes and uh, spare clothes now. Right, this is my uh, night clothes and uh, spare clothes. Uh, so for spare clothes, all I needed, all I took for spare clothes was a spare uh, pair of boxer shorts and spare 
uh, trekking socks. That's all I took for uh, spare trekking clothes. Um, when I was at a campsite, I would just hand wash my uh, other clothes and um, just hang them out to dry or whatever. Uh, they, well, except the trousers. The trousers didn't get washed the whole week, so yeah, what can you do? Anyway, night clothes. Uh, after I had a shower in a campsite, I'd always wear this, and I wore this every night as well um, when, I was, when I was asleep. Uh, it's made by Rab. It's it's a very thin, I don't know if they call it like a base layer jacket or something, but it's quite thin. It's very warm though. Um, it's got a hood as well. So if it is chilly at night, you can always put the hood up as well. But I slept in that and also wore that after I'd had a shower on a campsite. Um, these are, uh, I don't even know what make they are. I don't even know they've, they've got a, a brand at all, but they're very cheap, sort of long john style um, base layer for your, uh, for your legs. Uh, just just to wear at night, keep them uh, keep them warm, and also another pair of Bridgedale socks. These are thicker. I think I think these are classed as uh, called Summit uh, socks, and I think the ones I, I walked in are called uh, Trek Trekker or something like that socks. But I, I wore these at night. They're slightly thicker, um, and if need be, I could have uh, used those to hike in. But that those are all the, uh, the spare clothes I uh, I took with me.